Hi everyone, welcome back. Stock Mo here, ready to go. So let's get out there and make some dough. I'm ready to fire it up. We're gonna start with something a little bit different. And we know this is going to affect the market. I had a lot of people talking about this in the latest video I did before this one. And it deals with the student loan forgiveness. We know this is going to affect the markets one way or the other. Why? One, because we know giving millions and millions and millions of people some help with their student loans will free up money to get back into the economy. Uh, on the other hand, if it is knocked down by the the Supreme Court, well, now that's gone, and the we know that, of course, they will not be able to afford, a good portion of them will not be able to afford to be spending like they did, because now they got to start repaying their loans. And even those who don't get the reprieve still have the student loans come back in due uh, 60 days after the Supreme Court whole the decision and everything. So what I want to do today is I'm curious. Let's open up the forum and discuss what's going on. So as you can see right here, uh, Supreme Court might not allow it. The student Biden student loan forgiveness might be gone. Here's what borrowers should do. And they give you some examples, of course, what out there you should be planning for. You can do the income-based repayment plans. You got other, uh, you got all kinds of stuff you can look into it for. I'm not here for that. I'm here to figure out exactly what you believe should happen with this right here. First, let's start with this. Do you believe personally uh, that student loans should be forgiven, yes or no? Now, this falls into that same category that we had back in the day with stimulus checks. Some people believed in them, some people didn't. Some people said, I get them and I don't even need them. That's a waste of money. Some people said, I can't. We're having trouble putting food on the table, Mo. I need them. I need even more help. So I get both sides of the equation. I'm not here to pick one or the other, but I am here to d discuss a little bit about what happens with each decision and how I see it playing into the markets. Now, first things first, down below, let me know. Do you have student loans that can be forgiven? Yes or no? Two, do you believe they should be forgiven? Yes or no? Do you believe that they went far enough with this, the 10,000? Now, I will give you my opinion on this. I thought the issue is it's like giving a starving family a meal for a day. That's all they did. They gave them a meal for a day. So a day, they don't go hungry. For some people, it wipes away all their debt. For the majority of people, though, it's just a little teeny reprieve from a lot of money. And you can say, what are you talking about, Mo? And I got you on this one. I, I just want you to understand that college, $10,000, even up to $20,000, is nothing compared to what people will owe now. And so you can see the Supreme Court justices deciding whether to end Biden's student loan relief pay program paid an average of 42,000 to go to college. Today, they would have had to pay 320,000. So if I give somebody that owes $320,000, 10,000, 10,000, even 20,000, I have even given them 10% of what they need. And the interest on this, Think about it. What's the interest at? 6%, 7%? If it's a 7%, it's 21,000 a year. You paid the interest for one year is all you did. If you give them, if it's 6%, you paid, well, almost same thing. Very close, 20,000. If it's only 10,000, you paid interest for six months for them. And then they got years and years and years of interest left in everything else. So that to me, whatever they're doing with the whole paying off of debt, I'll give you my opinion on this. All you did was stop the bleeding. They have a big gaping wound in them and you put one stitch in. It's still not good. What they need to do is come up with a, a way to help students who are trying to get to the higher education part of their lives and succeed at college, not being indebted forever. Now, what is that? Maybe interest-free loans, maybe, I don't know, work-study programs that actually help them reduce their debt to a point that they can survive after college. I'm not sure. Put it down below what you think. I definitely think my opinion, a lot of people ask me, because I was in education, I feel like I'm qualified to give an opinion on this, is that to me, I think they need to look at the interest rates on the, the student debt and come up with a way to get those interest rates lower and more manageable for the long term for people so the interest doesn't kill them as they go forward. That is something I think could help, all right? I don't I don't know where they're gonna go, but I don't know if uh, uh, they wanna tackle that. That's a hot potato, but we'll see. So let me know down below what you believe. 
Now, uh, what's that mean for everything? This is where I wanted to get into. Now, if they forgive the loans, of course, a lot of people out there, and they always think, well, it's good news, Mo. Well, there's already people who aren't paying. So you got millions of people that aren't paying their loans right now because they don't have to. And that's going to come due 60 days after the Supreme Court justice makes up their mind. Once they make up their mind, and that's all said and done, uh, they're going to have to go ahead and start paying those who get forgiven and those who don't. Even those who get forgiven, they might still own money, owe money. And so if that's the case, that is going to take a hit out of the demand side of the economy. The market should feel it. Earnings should feel it. Compression of earnings from corporations should feel it. Put it all together. That's bad news for the markets. And so that retail strength that we saw and that pushed the markets down, oh, it was horrible. Inflation is going to be higher. That's going away. All right. And so that's some of the things we're discussing over at the Patreon. Now, if you haven't joined the Patreon, it's a whole different ballgame. That link's down below. We are, oh, come on over. Check out the portfolio. Check out the buy and sells. Check out the videos. Check out the private Discord. It is all about that. Take it to the next level. See what stocks are crushing in my portfolio. Come over and check it out. Uh, and of course, and before we get into the last part of this whole thing, and this is wild, make sure you do take advantage of the Moomoo link down below. And I'm going to be doing Technical Tuesdays using the Moomoo app. So if you haven't joined me for that, you're going to want to see this. Uh, we even were able to call the short-term term rally we expected to see in the market, and we did, based off the Bollinger Vans. I'm going to show you some of that. But put a $100 in using my link down below. You get five stocks worth up to $2,000 apiece, plus two AI draws. Put a grand in, 15 stocks worth up to $2,000 apiece, two AI draws. So make sure you take advantage of that. And, of course, the Weeble link, $1. Any deposit using my link below up to 12 stocks worth up to 30,600. Take advantage of it, friends. Now, what is going to happen right here? The Fed has no choice but to push the U.S. into a hard landing recession now and to pull inflation down, strategists say. I got to tell you, and I've been pretty bearish on the economy and what the Fed's doing because I know what they're going to do based off, off of history. And um, I, I agree they are going to push us into a hard landing. There's no doubt in my mind that we're going to go into a hard landing. I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, we're still going to avoid it. We're, we're going to be able to get out. I disagree. I think the Fed has to push this into inflation. They mess, They mentioned in uh, recession four times in their notes last time. No one wanted to talk about that. They never, they tried to, they absolutely try to avoid saying a recession. Four times they mentioned it. And everybody just kind of stepped over it. We don't want to talk about the negative. Let's just talk about the positive, man. Disinflation, baby. No, we got recession mentioned and people are ignoring it. The Fed tries to avoid that like the plague. They don't want to talk about a recession. They want to talk about hopes and dreams and happy unicorns flying around with rainbows coming out their butts. That's not the case. We got some ugliness out there and you need to be prepared for it. I'm loading up on TMF because I think the negativity is actually overboard. And we're going to go ahead and see an opportunity where that rallies probably pretty quickly up to the $10 zone. And the Fed, as the data starts to sour, and it's going to sour quickly at the end of Q2. That's my opinion. So I think as we get into June, uh, you're going to start to see a lot of the numbers coming out from different people. And then we get the Q2, uh, the Q2 earnings, man, you're going to hear a lot of changes like, oh, things are starting to get worse. We're going to let people go. Unemployment's starting to go higher. And I think in the Q3, you're going to know. <laughs> this is it. We're the either... Uh, GDP for Q2 started to drop. It turned negative, which is the first uh, first quarterly decline. And then Q2 or Q3 will be the second. That's an official recession. But by the end of Q3, I don't care who you are. By all definitions, I don't care if you're a politician, you're the uh, economist out there, you're going to say it's a, a recession. That That is sure in my mind. Uh, we will start the recession in 2023. And it may be it was pushback. I don't know if it was. I think Q2 still is where we start the recession. And so there's a lot of things out there. And why does the Fed have to push us into recession? They got to get their hands around the neck of inflation. They haven't done it yet. They keep doing these rate increases. I don't think they'll do 50 basis points, but I think they'd continue to do the 25 and they're overdoing it. Like they, I know people out there, oh, well, they got to get aggressive. Well, they already have it up to a restrictive, a significantly a restrictive area, but they keep going because they know they're just not beating it quick enough. If they let it go and you see the spending from consumers drop in the next six months, everything would follow suit. But they're not going to wait six months. They're going to go ahead and start slamming the brakes on. Even though we're already going up a hill and slowing down, we took our foot off the gas and we're slowing down. They're going to, no, 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 no. 
We're going to just take a, a chainsaw into an operation that needs a scalpel. We're going to make sure this is done. And what that's going to lead us into is a major hard landing like you're seeing from other people who are watching the same numbers I am. And that's going to lead to stimulus checks because unemployment is going to be very, very high. That's going to go through the roof. And of course, the GDP is going to turn negative for multiple quarters and they're going to need to fix it. And it's easy for the Fed to fix a recession because all you have to do is what? Spend your way out of it and lower those rates. What goes up when you lower the rates? That's right, TMF. TMF is going to go up. The 20-year treasury is going to go up. And I think I can make bank off of that. I absolutely expect to double my money in under two years. So we'll see if I'm right. All right, so right now that was the update. Let me know what you think about that whole student loan thing. We're going to get an answer most likely by June, the end of June at the latest. I think possibly April or May. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised at April because they're they're moving pretty quick on this. All right, so if you haven't done it, get the come on over to the Patreon. Step it up. Take your game to the next level. Join us over there with the community. Thousands of people see why. And, of course, get the free stocks from Weeble and Moo Moo down below. Take advantage. Moo Moo Technical Tuesday is coming, my friends. I can't wait to do that. And that's uh, pretty much what I got for you. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.